15 Hot English Words and Expressions from EspressoEnglish.net Number 1. Hotline A hotline is a telephone line that gives quick and direct access to help or information. For example, the police might have a domestic abuse hotline that people can call if they are being hurt in their homes by family members. A city might have a tourism hotline that tourists can call to get information. Number 2. Hotbed A hotbed is a place that provides especially good conditions for something to grow or develop. The thing that develops can be bad or good. For example, a department in the government can be a hotbed of corruption, or an area like Silicon Valley in California can be a hotbed of innovation. Number 3. Hotshot The word hotshot describes a person who is very skilled and successful and often implies that this person is very confident and may be a bit arrogant, showing off their success. For example, my friend's father is a hotshot lawyer who has worked on some of the most famous cases in the country. Number 4. Hot-headed a person who is hot-headed is easily angered. They are quick to lose their temper. I once had a hot-headed client who would yell at me for making a mistake. Number 5. Selling like hotcakes. If a product is selling like hotcakes, it means a lot of people are buying the product very fast. For example, a popular singer's new CD will be selling like hotcakes as soon as it is released. Number 6. A hot spot. This expression has two meanings. It can refer to a region where there is a lot of active conflict and violence. For example, if two countries were fighting about some territory on their border and attacking each other, that area would be a hot spot. Hot spot can also refer to a place that is lively, it has a lot of activity, and popular, like a nightclub or busy tourist place. Number 7. A Hot Button Issue A hot button issue is a controversial topic that people often have strong opinions about, so it can make people get passionate, emotional, or even angry when discussing it. Things like abortion and immigration tend to be hot button issues. Number 8. Hot Off the Press This expression refers to a publication a book, magazine, newspaper, etc., that has been printed and released very recently. Number 9. Full of hot air. Saying someone is full of hot air means the person is full of nonsense. They are saying things that are ridiculous and shouldn't be taken seriously. For example, marketers are full of hot air. They make all these promises and then things are never as good as they claim. Number 10. Hot under the collar. If you are hot under the collar, it means you are angry. This expression refers to the fact that when you get angry, you can often feel your body temperature rising. Number 11. In hot water. To be in hot water means to be in trouble, especially in a situation where you will be punished or someone will be mad at you. If your boss discovers you've been using your time at work to play computer games, you'll be in hot water. Number 12. Have the hots for someone. This expression is an informal way to say romantically or sexually attracted to someone. For example, my sister has the hots for a guy in her writing class. She can't stop thinking about him. Number 13. Hot to trot. If someone is hot to trot, it means they are ready, willing, eager, and enthusiastic to start something or to go ahead. Let's say your company proposes a partnership with a nonprofit organization. If the organization seems very excited about it and wants to move forward right away, then they are hot to trot. Number 14. Hot on someone's heels. In a race or competition, being hot on someone's heels means to be immediately behind them, in close pursuit. For example, the second place runner can be hot on the heels of the runner in the lead. Or a company that is leading the market by a small margin might have a competitor that is hot on its heels. Number 15. 
strike while the iron is hot. This expression means you should take advantage of especially good conditions to take some action now. For example, if you want to buy a house and there is a sudden drop in house prices, you should strike while the iron is hot and buy a house now while the prices are low. If you'd like to learn more idiomatic expressions which are common in spoken English, take the English Idioms course at EspressoEnglish.net. This course will help you discover 260 common idioms that native speakers use. And there are plenty of quizzes and practice exercises to help you remember the expressions. Visit EspressoEnglish.net, click on Courses, and look for the English Idioms course.